Um, I'm about to, I'm done getting ready. I'm about to head out for the day. And um, I'm really excited because I haven't really like had the time to really thrift and explore new thrift shops. I'm gonna say that. I haven't really had the time to explore new thrift shops. So this is gonna be exciting. Savers is not like my go-to like thrift store because their prices are a little insane i'm not gonna lie like the last couple of times that i've gone to savers um the prices have been uh, a little obnoxious to say the very least i did have a 30 percent coupon sitting in my email so you never know i never know what i might find and plus um as long as you donate you can also get a coupon for 20 percent. so i got a whole trunk full of things that i need to donate so yeah i'm super open to what the day has to offer it is a little muggy outside the sun isn't shining um so that's why we have that's why we have the the, the fit we have on today um but yeah i'm gonna just we're, we're just gonna head out right now. It's gonna take us two hours to get there. It was supposed to just take us um, an hour and like 54 minutes, which is basically two hours, honestly. Um, we gonna be in the car for a little long i don't know if i'm gonna vlog everything but because it's just gonna be me vibing out to my my tunes but i'm gonna vlog when i can because i do want to drive safely that is my priority yeah it's 106 and um it was honestly a smooth ride like i can't even complain it was a little long leg was cramping up a little bit but y'all have my worship music on i was in the car praying the whole time so and the parking lot is packed y'all there is so many cars in this parking lot there's people dropping off donations like there's a whole huge truck u-haul truck that people have filled that somebody has filled up and they're donating obviously because i think like they have to process it when i i'm not gonna see none of that stuff but i that's a good sign whenever you see people donating stuff that means that like their inventory is usually good and then the parking lot looking like how it's looking means that this store must must be a little hit the things that i'm looking for are shoes or accessories and i'm looking for shorts and i'm open to things that are like unique looking but i really don't need any new clothes i'm open-minded and i do have a budget of like i want to say my budget for today is 50 dollars. if i push it the most is 60 okay because savers is a little bit more pricier so Sorry, it's okay. Fine. <laughs> You're fine. You know what's crazy? I never thought to drift books. I never thought to do that. Because I go to the library. Yep. And just check them out. Yep. Because you want to read the books for yourself. Yes. Yes. And there's not enough time to read every book that I want. Right. But you know, go for it. I mean, these books, this is great. You can take it anywhere. You don't have to have electricity or anything. Exactly. You can just read it. So good for you. Keep looking for stuff. <laughs> so crazy thing, right? I recently lost my Bible. And I was just coming over to a section where there wasn't a lot of people. So I could record real quick. And I literally stopped right in front of the religion and spirituality section. So... I'm gonna get this. It's only $2.99 and it's the NIT version, which is the version that I like to read, so. 
and then I saw this book living beyond your feelings by Joyce Myers I remember hearing and seeing her a lot when I was younger like on TV and things like that and I know she has like a gazillion books um but I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this one and see what she's talking about because I really do struggle with letting my emotions rule my life so she talks about um fear sadness loss grief guilt and regret and i guess it's really good to have other resources other than the bible like ugly but cute at the same time i think i'm gonna get it for bed 3.99 can't go too wrong with it it's gonna make me feel like somebody's fine auntie like yeah i'm gonna get it and it was hiding it was literally hiding over here it was somebody's put back Let's see what else they was looking at. Okay. I could see this. Knitted crochet things are in. This is probably cool as like a layering piece. But I'm trying to stay away from dark colors. What else they got over here? Okay, there's a little short. Okay, hold on. I think this is cute. Oh, these are real cute. And I know these aren't my size. Oh, these are so cute. The button's going down the center. They are my size. They're size 6. Oh, they're only $6.99. I'm gonna try them on. This was some stockings underneath. Hold on, because I have a whole look in my head. Hold on. We'll just throw that in there for now. Okay, whoever it was had some good taste. Oh, this is cute too. I'm not really a cow neck girl, but... Oh, this is real cute. Cow necks don't look good on me. And then this little dress. Okay, this is cute. This is, this is actually pretty cute. It's just not me, though. It's just not me, but this is this is ten ninety nine. And then it has like the off the shoulder sleeve attachment thing. Y'all know what I'm talking about. This is kind of cute. I could see the potential with this. This is just too granny esque. Really. And I don't like long in the front, short in the front, long in the back. That I have trauma connected to that style. Oh my gosh, I am lost for words. I was just walking by and I saw, I saw this like, whatever this is called. And it says heart, heather, heatherette, whatever. I don't care what that says, but that stuck out to me. And so I was like, let me go see what this is. Hmm, the $12.99, so cute though. I don't mind paying a little extra for it if it's really, really cute because this is like one of a kind stuff. And you can tell that it's like the denim is like the good denim. I'm gonna try it out. Guys, so my cart is pretty full. I'm just trying to find a little spot where we could just set up real quick and talk, chit chat. And I could show you guys some of the things that I found. Okay, so I probably don't need all these books, but I used to be a bookworm when I was younger and I really want to get back into reading. And these books are all under like $4. So 
you know you gotta invest in yourself invest in your hobbies so i'm getting these books right here the thing is although i have a lot of stuff in my cart i'm not buying like probably any of them because honestly and truly i didn't really see anything that really sparked my interest enough to buy but i did see some cool things that i want to show y'all i just found this shirt very funny because what are you talking about to freedom Show y'all the top and the bottom. So, this is the top. Where I'm going in this, I don't know. I'm gonna low key try it on though. It's only six dollars for both the top and the bottom. So, I'm like, if this looks cute on me, like, I'm I want to get more into wearing sets because I could wear this with the bottom, boom, that's the outfit. I could wear the bottoms, and they're just like some slim pants. Um, with the top, boom, that's the outfit. Put it together, boom, that's the outfit. So, yeah, I'm really trying to get into two-piece sets. Over by shoes and somebody had picked it up. So it's a two-piece once again. And this is the top. Oh, I might get this, hold on. This is the bottom. I didn't try it on yet, but can't you just see me? Maybe not worn together, but can't you just see me on somebody beach? On somebody yacht, on somebody's boat, on somebody cruise. Oh, I might have to get this. And this is another vintage piece. I've never heard of this brand, but very, very pretty. Like I'm seeing this with like a yellow gold, yellowish gold accessories. I'm seeing this with like I don't know. Let me try it on before I get my hopes up. But this was a very unique find, which I said from the beginning, that's what I was looking for. So that's basically it for um, like the clothes that I found. Now we're going to get into accessories. I found this a very, very beautiful purse. Oh my goodness. Like, only thing about it is I can tell that this is like, this was bought from like a flea market or something usually how i could tell is like the lining and when you see those made in china tags on the inside you know that it was made in china and not only that but it was probably being sold in a um like in a cheap store and there's nothing wrong with that but there is something wrong with that when the, the thrift store is trying to charge me ten dollars for it if it was like five dollars i would have got it because it's absolutely beautiful like the beading and the sequins on it are just it's just pretty and i've never seen nothing like this but i'm not paying ten dollars i'm sorry and then i saw this purse which it's not really my style but i feel like it's really really cute and different it reminds me of ugg like the ugg tell far collab like I feel like it's so cute and I feel like I feel like I should get it but I know I'm not gonna wear it it's just gonna be something that I have and it's $17 they out they mind I promise you they out they mind y'all this is a bath and body works bag and you know when did they make purses not making it up either what did I say what did I say? When did Bath and Body Works make accessories? Like, when did they make purses? Do they make clothes too? I found this like dress. It was, I like the graphics on it. I don't know who these people are. Um, but I feel like I would wear it as a tank. Cause it, as a dress is just entirely too short. It's from a brand called Eye Candy. I don't know what to say. But I was like, this is cute. Because I'm in like my graphic t-shirt, graphic era. Like, I'm trying, because once again, I'm trying to play with color and prints and patterns and just 
be just want you to be different found this belt which i am gonna get i think that i want i need more like just like casual belts um i like the silver studding detail on it actually i'm not getting this it don't fit me I saw these loafers and these are like a very classic loafer i already have a pair of loafers but they're more like the more modern trendy loafers but these are like a classic pair um they beat though they real beat like miss mama's these must have been real comfortable in her favorite pair because she, oh she wore them down oh child we have to debrief <laughs> I was in that store having way too much fun. Way too much fun. And the more fun I, I have, the more money I spend, okay? I ended up spending $54. And I know I said that the budget was $60, but that was the budget for the clothes, the shoes, the accessories. So technically, I only spent $45 with the clothes. The $15 other dollars was from the books I bought. So we still have, um, we have less than, yeah, we have less than $20 left that I, I can spend. And, um, honestly, I'm very, very satisfied with the funds from today. I can't wait to show you guys because they eat, okay? When I tell you unique, unique, we have another thrift store that we're going to, another Savers. I'm going to see if they're, ha I did see actually a Salvation Army. If I could see, a, if the Salvation Army is closer than the Savers, I'm going to Salvation Army because I like Salvation Army better. They prices is just bad. You know. Hey, yo, KJ, man, that shit is I feel like I'm being punked right now. Oh my god. I feel like I'm being punked. Oh, I want to cry. Five dollars, baby. Oh, we're going to talk in the car. I'm in here trying not to black out. Trying to compose myself. Because after I just found what I just found, I want to go crazy. They have good stuff in here. They have good stuff in here and the prices are actually better than the other one but it's just i'm trying to stay focused and i really am trying to honor the budget i made for myself wherever you see a mirror usually i would say to look in those directions like look in those areas because this is where a lot of times people try on their stuff and then they put back the things that they're not going to purchase and sometimes you can find some good stuff um, that people didn't want to buy because of whatever reason. It's like they did the work for you, like they did the searching for you. I just found this like denim dress, but it can be worn as like a denim, like a vest. Oh. 90s, 80s esque. It's giving like art teacher vibes. And let's look at the, and it's 100% cotton, so that's actually not bad. That's this means that it's good quality and it's durable and it's gonna last. I found me a little spot and I'm gonna show you some of the things that I found. So pretty. Um, the brand is BCBG Max yeah, BCBG. I would get it, but I just don't see myself wearing it. So pretty though, oh my gosh. I'm a gold girl. So anything with girl gold, I'm, I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for it every time. was cute or cool about this jacket is if I could get my <laughs> it has a 
a zipper so you can wear it like you could show on the shoulder like we love this green but baby this is too long mm -mm. these is too long like Let's really get into it because today I'm just like, I'm just like, um, hello. So I had zero expectations for how today was going to go. I have not been like done like a solo day or solo. I be with my sister a lot of the time and there's nothing wrong with that, but she's working today and i was just like you know what usually i just spend the, the day in the house and i'm just like nah i let me spend some time with myself spend some time with god and go out i'm so glad that i did literally even if i didn't find anything i just had so much fun fun i haven't had in a very long time like just with myself and i definitely know that god was with me because I don't know I just you, you you just get to feel his presence and it's like I did not feel lonely like at all today and that's something that I really struggled with in the past going places alone was a very very scary feeling because of the fact that I did not like being by myself but the more that I'm getting closer to God the more that you know I acknowledge his presence in my life the more that that loneliness goes away Today was super duper fun.